Okay, this is a really great story. Right now, a Florida researcher is preparing to come up for air after 100 days under the sea. His name is Joseph Deturi, dubbed Dr. Deep Sea, and he's down there researching how the human body functions in extreme environments. We couldn't speak with him live because he has a breathing tube in that's helping him depressurize before he emerges. But News Nation contributor Colby Hall snagged one of those last interviews, and he's back on set to tell us more. Thanks. I got the chance to talk to uh, Joe DeTore, a researcher and South Florida professor who's been living underwater for the past few months in Key Largo, Florida. He'll finally emerge tomorrow feeling a lot different than he did 100 days ago. And I asked him about the biggest changes he's noticed in his body since starting the experiment. So far, I've had a 73-point uh, reduction in my cholesterol. Every single inflammatory marker in my body is cut in half. Uh, I have a uh, I have a sharp reduction in oxidative stress and all other forms of stress in my body, even though I'm in a much more stressful situation per se. But so, yeah, there's lots of good things going on. So that that sounds amazing. Um, and I, you know, the metrics are one thing. But how do you feel? Do you feel notably healthier? Are you at all claustrophobic? Are you ready to get out? I am. I am not claustrophobic. That is my. Uh, that is not in my nature. Uh, I was, used to do submarine rescue. I used to be in the Navy and be a one atmosphere suit pilot. So you know, I'm. I'm pretty used to being in tight spaces. But uh, I feel very well overall. I. You know, I miss. I miss touch. I miss tactile. I miss high fives and you know shaking hands and that kind of thing because it really is this family separation involved. And I, you know, I shut my business down for 100 days, or basically I put it on hold for 100 days. Well, it's impressive. Now you're ending this mission this week, and you have to go through a really intense 24 hours in order to decompress and safely return above water. Tell us why and what that will entail. Right, well, the problem is nobody's ever stayed underwater this long. At some point you get saturated, which means the, the inert gas that you're breathing will not be absorbed anymore into your bones and tissues at this point, hopefully. So we're trying to mark through the decompression and the decompression profile is the first of all any kind. So when you do something like this, you just err on the side of caution. So we're gonna start this mental slowdown, this breathing exercise, the breathing different kinds of gases, and then slowly ascending towards the surface over a 24 hour period. So after 100 days, you have to have thought about this for some time, but what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get on land? Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm, a, I'm kind of a sun baby, so I, I really do truly miss the sun. But what I intend on doing is just soaking up that first sunset with a very special person and, uh, and calling that good. <laughs> so when they told you about the alien takeover, were you surprised? <laughs> you know the beautiful thing about being underwater? The only news I get is when I'm in the waiting room listening and waiting for my chance to come online. I, I have not turned a TV on in 99 days. So, <laughs> yeah, I basically have almost no news. And that's why you're probably so healthy. So what happens next? <laughs> does this research continue? How does this research continue after this? So it does. Uh, the intention is to continue uh, four and six weeks afterwards samples and to see what has happened. We're doing over 200 blood tests, urine, saliva, echocardiograms on the uh, heart, um, electroencephalograms on the brain, pulmonary function tests. So we're gonna continue that throughout just to see what happens and how long it takes or if these things stay and recover or if they just go down. So the first step once he gets out, a medical examination. And the goal here is that this kind of research and what's being done in space help scientists and medical researchers learn more about the human body, which to help various causes and maybe one day, you know, find a cure. He spent 100 days in what, a tank? How it's, big is it? it? It's it's not very big. He can he can work out. It's, uh, can it's he about stand, 100. He can stand yes, up, he right? can stand up. It's about 150 <laughs> square feet, which is pretty tight. And I think spends most of his time sort of doing Zoom calls with, you know, elementary, middle school grades, talking to them about science. And what is he eating and drinking? Uh, he's got he's got lots of supplies. I mean, as you can see, like he's doing yoga. He's very fit. 
I think if anyone lived in a small container and focused on their health, they'd come out feeling way, way better. But kudos to him. Like, good for scientists. Yeah, 73 points down on his cholesterol. I should do it. I yeah. should be the next to sign up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.